Hi guys, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to start a uh, coding vlog of my Unity game development. I have a plan to create a horror game and I'm going to use this free free Unity asset. It is third person character controller. I have my own character controller, but Let's try this one from Unity, officially from Unity, and it is completely free. You can create third-person game with this free asset. So to start using it, you can just add this asset to your Unity account. You must be logged in first, and then add this uh, asset. Click this button, and you will find a You will see the asset will be downloaded here. Yeah, you know what I mean. You will download the asset to this Unity editor. For example, this one is mine. After downloading the package, I got this folder with its contents like this. You will see the example scene here inside this third person controller folder scenes and it is the ship if you click play button you will have this character controllable controllable by using your keyboard you can move your character using w a s and d and press shift to run space to jump and so on you can check out its official documentation and tutorial it is available on youtube i think and because i'm going to make unity mobile game so you will see this game object here ui canvas by default it is disabled let's enable it you can see the joystick and the jump and run button you can use those controllers if you make a mobile game so because I'm making mobile game I will enable this uh, controller touch control and here inside the player armature object I need to scroll down here uh, starter asset input I'm going to uncheck this cursor input for loop no cursor lock I'm going to uncheck it So I can use my cursor to click these buttons. This is for uh, looking at change, changing the direction of camera. You can also rotate the camera, look around by using your mouse, and this is the joystick you can move your character this way of course because I'm using mouse I cannot click this run button and moving the joystick but I can press W and click this and clicking this button to run so the point is I'm going to make mobile game using this free asset and this is the first video that I'm going to start with all right the most important thing in this video that I'm going to show you is how to replace this character default character with our own character I have my own character here inside this characters folder and I have my 
test scene here it is my character yeah this guy please note that I already rig this character using Mixamo so when you import a character from Mixamo you will have this FBX file with animation in it like this one animation clip yeah this animation clip so I already have this character rig rigged by Mixamo and I have it here <coughs> so what I'm going to show you here how to replace that character on playground scene example scene replace that with this one what I'm going to do is to copy this game object my character hang on a second yeah I got bad, bad microphone it has noise annoying noise so I'm going to copy this object copy and go back to the that scene example scene playground I will save this scene as another scene save as another scene so when I make changes and make some stupid errors I won't destroy the original scene I'm going to name this scene as oh, my scene starts again ah. okay I have this scene now my scene and I will paste the game object here no inside this player armature game object first thing that we need to do is to unpack this prefab and uh, choose right click choose prefab then unpack completely then go to geometry here is the original mesh of the example character delete this one then paste the character that you have I already my copied my character paste as child but it is too big I need to scale it down yeah you have capsule here I think the size is nice you can just go drag and drop your character here what I did is copy and pasting copying and pasting you, uh, you can also drag and drop your FBX file to this geometry game object to make it child of the geometry game object that is the first step yeah I don't know if it was the first or second or the third yeah that was the progress of uh, importing the character no placing the character here inside the player armature the next thing with, that we need to do is to make sure that our object here that we have imported from Mixamo here when you click the object go to rig tab make sure you have the humanoid animation type here choose humanoid and apply after clicking apply you will have this important thing called armature avatar avatar armature avatar this is the important thing that we need to have then we click this player armature object here you have avatar click this one and choose that avatar that we have generated this is my avatar 
now if I play the game I can use the character oops I can move my character we can do whatever we want here like jumping running walking and so on okay I think that's all for this video let's say the video is about how to replace the default character in unity starter asset up with your own character what a long title <laughs> okay thank you for watching and see you next time on my next video i hope i can continue this video vlogs until i can finish the game completely finish the game uh, so because previously i was recording my work but in the middle of my work i got another works and i forgot where was i so yes that's all very disorganized thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye